Hey guys, a uh, couple of friends uh, and myself, Ash and Casey, went to the Big South Fork National Recreation Area, camped for a couple of days, did a couple of hikes, uh, we had fun. This is kind of like a informational vlog thing, I guess? I don't know. I took video of it. Here it is. I, it's day one. We are eating breakfast. Uh, we <laughs> slept here last night. Uh, it rained a little bit. There's a lot of fog. There's a lot of really loud ass birds. Don't forget your earplugs, like I did, like an <laughs> idiot. Um, but yeah, pr pr pretty okay first night for me. What, what do you guys think? Yeah. I liked it. I had a good time. Yeah. The crows were a good little alarm. It was up. only a little scary to go pee in the night. Also, who do who, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 who do you? <laughs> <laughs> of the bathrooms. Here we go. Oh. No pipe washing. <laughs> okay, let's fulfill your water bottle. It's a uh, handicap stall. Women's stall and men's stall. Exactly the same. So I'm not... One, two, Four stalls. And also one shower, nice and clean. Fairly cool. Oh yeah. Tents only allowed on Lupe. No electricity or anything over here. Twenty dollars a night. This is what we got going on over here. Yeah. Hook back up with you when we go camping. Or, excuse me. Okay, so one thing that is super freaking annoying about this place is that none of the maps, like, actually <laughs> line up. We are trying to go to the John Litton Loop Trail. Okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. Here we go. John Litton Loop Trail, right here. That's what we're trying to do. It's supposed to be like a two to three hour, you know, has some fun stuff to look at, blah, blah. Come over here, it doesn't exist on the big thing. And we can't find a trailhead. And it's supposed to be right here, but there's nothing here except for that thing over there, which is the, um, like the 1.3 mile campground loop, which shows up down here. And there's an Oscar Blevins farm loop, but on this map, it says John Litton farm loop. Are they the same? And they're not even the same shape. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna try to figure this out. I'm really annoyed. Okay, so now that I'm good and pissed off. <laughs> right next to our fucking campsite. Yeah. I am thrilled. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so we found the thing and now we walked like a mile down this gravel road. Um, they didn't mark the trail as what it was. Um, they, it's part of the shell toe we trace, but they don't put that on the map anywhere and they don't tell you anywhere at the trailhead. So I guess you just gotta know, luckily you got us. <laughs> and we telling you where it is, so don't get lost. Uh, okay, so we've been going for like a mile. This is the first sign that I've seen of the John Litton loop. Uh, up into this point. So came up to this. It's like a big Y otherwise over there. So we gonna go that way. Okay. Duncan Hollow Road. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Road. Okay. <laughs> We're doing it. Continuing in our irritating uh, map quest style hike, uh, we have come to a giant fork where both of the roads look basically exactly the same. Are there any markers? No. <laughs> Uh, there's markers on the trees every once in a while, but all of the markers look different. They're not the same. They're not labeled. Some of them are like literally just different colored placards. Oh my god, don't throw things at me. I'm sorry. Can you stick that in my <laughs> yes. thing? Okay. <sighs> yeah, just shove it down in there. So we had to pull up GPS on the internet. <laughs> uh, and it says to go this way, so we are taking the left fork 
Um, I don't know, man. Big South Fork really needs to get their trail marker game together because this is like, like if somebody didn't know what they were doing, they'd get lost so fast. You know? Like me. You know, and especially if you're giving out maps and stuff and saying that stuff is clearly marked when it's not. Right now, I mean, this place is fun and cool, but as far as like trail maps and like navigation, they're getting like a one out of five right now. Anyways, this is pretty. Having a good time, <laughs> all things considered. I want you to get over the fact that, you know, the markers are trash and the trails are trash. Or the markers are trash and the maps, trail maps are trash. This is a pretty trail. Probably the coolest rock feature we've seen so far. Pretty neat. Came to another sign after this lovely bench over here. Back to the Sheltoe Trace. Um, Turn right, it's gonna take us back to the campground. Uh, headed back to the John Litton farm. And if you wanted to get to Grand Gap from John Litton, this an extra two miles. So, just so you know. We found Fancher Falls, or not Fancher Falls, Foster Falls. I don't know, there's a waterfall. Branch Falls, Falls Falls. Casey's not happy because she almost stepped it by a copper head. Yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> it's okay. We're almost back, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> there is a fire ring. And I guess a campsite? It looks like a campsite. It's kind of cute. Well. Ash is down there. Sitting. Alright. Maybe this is one of the backwoods spots you can Probably. I don't think Casey's about going next to the water right now. No. Not yet. I'm good. <laughs> that was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Casey. It was like right fucking here. And I had to fucking jump over it. Casey almost got bit by a copperhead. Yeah. It, it scared its, the shit out of it. It had its mouth open and by yeah. the time I noticed it. Yeah. yeah. Man, she jumped out of the way so fucking quick. Hell yeah. I didn't see that thing. I was in front of her. And then Ash had to look for like 30 seconds before she saw that thing. <laughs> And then it tried to go after Ash, but Ash yeah. got it off of the trail with a big stick. We have too much good snake karma for this. Our hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's Paul Bear's fault. Paul Bear's fault. So big. Ah. The water folly thing. I know the way. We made it out. We're still alive. Woo! Uh, don't rely on the maps. Watch where you step. Bring water. And we're backed up to like a field of wildflowers, which is pretty cool. Those are my favorite. Black Eyed Susans. Alright, so Ash and I are gonna uh, went to the Leatherwood Falls Trailhead which is like, eh, I don't know, like two miles with some hard-ass switchbacks down the road. Um, we are exploring because, you know, we like to kayak and stuff, so we're checking out the water. There's a couple people down here, which is cool because we really ain't seen any people. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do the Angel Falls Overlook, which is a six-mile round trip. Uh, got a hike across the bridge, 297, right over there uh, to get to the trailhead. So I'll let you know what's up. Okay, so right off the bat, lots of, like, big ass like rock featurey things 
very cool. There's some stairs, more stairs. This place really looks like the Smoky Mountains, just like with more rocks, yeah. if that makes sense. Okay. Big old Back. tree down on the trail. See how Ash handles this. <laughs> she's putting her phone in her backpack because she's smart. Oh, like a woodland creature. <laughs> a little bit further down now. Straight up like temperate rainforest, but there are lots of trees and stuff all over the trail right now. Uh, reference, it is June 19th, 2020. Ash is down there by the water. Oh, I guess my phone won't let me zoom like that, but whatever. Having fun? Okay, so we made it about two miles out to where we would start doing the switchbacks, and there was some restricted tape that we went behind. Don't do that, because, you know, it's wrong and illegal. But we did it so that you don't have to. So right now, this bridge is under construction. There's only like one little piece of wood right here that's holding it up. If you look in the background right behind Ash, Right there, that's like a, like another larger bridge that's like slanted and curving up. So uh, this is pretty much just not passable at this point, not safely. Um, so we're gonna call it a four mile hike and head back. Maybe we'll get to do Angel Falls Overlook a different time. I'm sure it's pretty disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. Is he even awake? trail buddy. Look. Go on. Move it along bud. Go on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're not very good at salamandering. Come on. No. Okay. We did the thing. It was fun. We saw a fire salamander. Uh, we warned a nice family that was heading up that they weren't going to be able to make it all the way to the Overlook. And they were disappointed. I wish that all those people with the dogs had told us that, that nice. you know, but if you're watching this, people with dogs, and you remember us, tell people next time, man. And pick up your shit. Right? Also, your dog poop. Pick that shit up. You're gross. Um, now it's about to thunderstorm, so yay. That's it. We did it. It was fun. Okay, so Ash and I went on the 1.3 mile um, Brand Bandy Creek campground loop. Um, we were trying to find a rattlesnake because Ash had never seen one. We were looking around and I almost stepped on like the second biggest bear that I've ever seen in my entire life. <clears throat> um, he ran away a little bit, but not nearly far enough. He went like 25 feet away and then stopped and started sniffing and was curious and started looping around like he was trying to come behind us. So we stared off and uh, walked away slowly while yelling at the bear to, you know, stay away. And he did, so that's good. But uh, yeah, Ash got to see a bear and I don't think she's ever seen a bear in a while before. So, woo. Okay, so we're home. Uh, I had to come home a day early for reasons. Reasons being uh, people next to us were being really loud and came in and had a generator and a whole bunch of people came in and we'd already done all the hiking that we wanted to do and we didn't want to spend the night with a generator running next to us so we went home because we're grown-ups and we can make those sorts of decisions. Um, anyways, I'm back home with my dogs. I love them very much. Uh, we had a great time hiking and camping at the Big South Fork Natural Recreation Area. Uh, yep, yeah, it was super fun. Highly recommend if you're into hiking. Uh, there's also other fun outdoorsy things to do there. And, you know, you might see a bear or something. It was fun. Um, Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.